Hello! By viewer request, today I'm going to flip through these three sticker anthology books by DK. They are so beautifully bound and I think all of us are just curious to see what the stickers are like in here. This is the first one I got and the one that's been out for the longest, the Botanist Sticker Anthology. The second one that came out last year is Bees, Birds and Butterflies and this one, the Seashore Sticker Anthology, was just released in March 2022, so it's very new. And I will link all of these books in the description below. I got them off Amazon. I think they're also available on Book Depository and probably a few other online bookstores. Let's get into it. Sit back, relax, have a cuppa, and we'll flip through all of these many hundreds of stickers together. Starting off with the Botanist Sticker Anthology, which is the original one and, in my opinion, the best one. I love this book so much, it's very pretty. You'll see soon that all three books have various chapters and the paper is quite glossy. It's not totally shiny, but it does have a nice sheen. In between each page spread of stickers is a patterned backing, which is different in all three books. And so I'm going to flip through this without showing you the pattern on every single page. I'm going to play this to music. I will just come in with a bit of commentary at the start of each book. Some of these pages have one single large sticker, so you'll see me just trace the outline of those. And that's the end of the Botanist sticker book. I love it. I think it's got such a lovely variety of stickers, even though some of them are repeating. But that's fine with me. Onwards to Bees, Birds and Butterflies, which is also a really great book. I like this one too. And the pages have an orange backing pattern. So it starts off with birds and then it will go into the chapters of bees and butterflies at the end. I do like this one, perhaps not quite as much as the botanist sticker book. I think that one is just the most fabulous of the three. But this one also has a lot of lovely stickers, especially if you like these subjects and there's some more of those large full page stickers too.
reaching the end of this second book. I think there's a lovely variety of stickers in there too. Going on to the third one, which is the newest release, the Seashore Sticker Anthology. And unfortunately, this one is just not as good as the other two, in my opinion. Although I really do like the blue ocean backing on this book. It's a nice pattern. So the main problem I have with this book, and you'll see it as we flip through, is that it's focused too much on the Victorian style of illustrations. Now that in itself isn't that much of an issue. I like Victoriana, but it is also quite creepy. And for seascapes, I was really hoping to get a lot more in the way of pretty seashells and brightly colored fish. But unfortunately, as you can see here, they've picked the really ugly ones from the deep sea. And I don't know that I want to stick those anywhere in particular. These ones are okay, but what the hell is that? That is just absolutely horrifying. <laughs> and I think they've just gone too realistic with some of the fishes that they've chosen to add into this book. I don't mind the full pages. I think they're quite good. And I do like some of the dolphins and things like that. But I just don't think that the choice of designs in here is maybe as appealing as the other two books. Let me know what you think about it. There's also a chapter which will pop up soon called Seashore and it has a lot of Victoriana style stickers of people and things and I'm just not so keen on that. I really really wish that that chapter had been seashells. The second half of the book with the corals is much better but I'm just going to let you watch this without me ranting for the entire book. <laughs> So there we have all three books. This one is still my favorite of all of them. I really love the floral one. I think it's beautiful. I think this comes in a close second and the seashore one isn't as good as these two in my opinion. I like the second half of the book better than the first but I like having all three. I mean they look really beautiful and now the challenge is going to be pulling stickers out of them. I want to I've done it in some of my other books, so I will be taking stickers out of these eventually. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I hope you enjoyed this little video and looking through these books. Which one is your favourite? Would you consider getting any of these? 
or are they just a bit of a gimmick and you wouldn't bother? So check out the links below for each of these books. I'll try and list them all individually. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for many more videos to come. I hope you are all having a wonderful day out there, and I will see you really soon in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!